right now a man and a teenage girl dead after a pursuit and standoff ends in southern Dane County late Wednesday night. And hours after a man is shot and killed on Madison's north side, police arrest the suspect. What we know about her. And Madison School's incoming superintendent meets district students and staff. How soon until he takes over the job? That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Thanks for joining us tonight. Two people, a 38-year-old man and a 13-year-old girl, are dead following a pursuit and standoff from late last night. This all happening last night after 6 o'clock off Ramsey Road, just east of Stoughton and northwest of the town of Albion. The man, Alexander Grunke of Middleton, is a person of interest in the murder of a 32-year-old Lamont, Iowa woman. That woman had a 13-year-old and 5-month-old child staying with her, but they were not there when police found her dead. Now, here is what we know. Last night, about 5.30, Grunky and the 13-year-old dropped a young child off at a residence in the town of Dunn. That child was not hurt and is now in safely in custody. A pursuit began after the pair would not pull over for law enforcement officers. Both Grunky and that 13-year-old they were armed and fired shots, but no one was struck and deputies did not return gunfire. A tire deflation device was used in the town of Albion to stop their vehicle and then they ran away. Grunky forced his way into an occupied home on Ramsey Road, barricading himself in the basement and deputies were able to get the family living there out safely. Deputies tried to make contact with him, but found him dead from an apparent suicide. Authorities say the girl ran into a wooded area but was found unresponsive and also died. A woman who lives nearby tells us she'd never seen a police response like this before. You just knew it was bad because there were so many, I've never seen so many cop cars at a scene and they all had their lights on and they were lined up against or lined uh, down the road and they were really focusing on the, the wooded section of that. So you just get this bad feeling like, oh gosh, you know, yeah, I was, it was, very, it was, it was, scary. it was scary. An investigation is ongoing. This is not Grunke's first run in with law enforcement. Online court records show in September of 2006, Grunke, along with his twin brother Nicholas Grunke and Dustin Radke, visited a cemetery in Cassville so they could transfer a corpse to a different location so Nicholas could have sex with it. In 2010, Grunke was handed a two year prison sentence. Shortly after we went off the air last night at 10 o'clock, Madison police saying a 31-year-old man who was shot on the city's north side died from his injuries. Now this happened outside an apartment complex on Northport Drive. Police immediately announced they did have a person of interest in mind. And this morning, Tamar Brianna Beasley was booked into the Dane County Jail. She is facing a charge of first-degree intentional homicide. Police say surveillance video showed a fight between Beasley and the male victim with whom she had a domestic relationship. Now that fight happened near a playground at the apartment complex before a shot was fired. Police Chief Sean Barnes tells us there weren't any prior criminal calls between Beasley and the victim in Madison, but there was a previous incident in Chicago and they are working to get more information about that from Chicago police. And tonight we want to remind you that there are local resources available for victims of domestic violence. Maybe that's you or maybe that's somebody that you know, but help is out there for people stuck in a domestic violence situation. Domestic Violence Intervention Services or DAYS can be called at any time. Its 24 hour helpline is 608-251-4445. And there's also the National Domestic Violence Hotline and that is also 24 seven. That number 800-799-7233. We take a live look at the Beltline right now. Some showers earlier today for some. The wet weather will soon end, but overnight the winds will pick up a bit. So get ready for a windy end to your work week. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington now shares what else you need to know in his first worn forecast. Alex? Yeah, that's right, Eric. I can show you those showers out there right now as they swing down here from north west to southeast right towards the Madison area. A couple spots picking up a few areas of a little bit heavier precipitation, but most of this is on the light side. Even had a couple viewers saying, your radar is showing that it's, that it's raining on site, but it's not. It's because the air is very dry, so some of that rain is evaporating. We had a heavier shower near Schulzburg, and that has now since slipped to the south over portions of northern Illinois. Again, not expecting much in the way of any additional precipitation tonight. Just a fleeting shower or two, that thunderstorm threat 
has significantly decreased that we were talking about in our earlier shows. Now, Eric said it's gonna get windy. When you look at a wind map and it's red and purple, you can be rest assured it's going to be very windy as we carry on into your Friday with wind gusts perhaps 30 to 35 miles per hour all day on your Friday. But those winds will eventually lessen as we head further into your Friday afternoon. And then we got a gorgeous weekend. But there's a price to pay for a gorgeous weekend in April with temperatures in the 70s that sets the stage for severe weather. We've been talking about this potential for a few days. Alert day conditions looking likely on Tuesday. High winds, hail, and isolated tornadoes. I'd be tuning in to all of our live newscasts, our first warned weather app and channel 3000. Dot com as we get out into Monday and Tuesday of next week as this potential event unfolds. I'll have more information and details on that in just a few minutes. In Beloit, police officers have arrested a 16-year-old in connection to the murder of a 20-year-old man last Friday morning. It stems from a shooting early Friday on Nelson Avenue. Today, police and Rock County Sheriff's deputies served a search warrant on two homes, one in Beloit, another in Janesville, leading to the teenager's arrest. The victim has not yet been identified. A judge has denied Slenderman stabber Morgan Geyser's request for conditional release from the facility she's been ordered to receive treatment. It was nearly 10 years ago that Geyser, now 22, and Anissa Wire stabbed their classmate, leaving her for dead in Waukesha, but she survived. The girls said they believed the only only way to protect their loved ones from a fictional character Slender Man was to do that. Wire was granted her release in 2021 and the state said that although Geyser shows improvements, she should not be released yet. So in this matter, after hearing all the credible evidence, which I'm satisfied was very well presented by uh, both the state as well as by the defense, I'm satisfied that the petition should be denied. Thank With you. that, I'll remand uh, Ms. Geyser back to uh, the Winnebago Mental Health Institute. Under state law, Geyser can make the release request again in as little as six months, and her lawyer said afterward to expect it. Lawmakers are hearing testimony about progress happening at the state's youth prisons. The Department of Corrections officials spoke about how they're limiting the use of pepper spray and constraints unless there's a serious risk to others. The DOC has been making changes to procedures at Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake, the two embattled youth prisons in the state. Now it comes after years of lawsuits and abuse allegations. The next step is to close both youth prisons in Irma, something that's taking years to open a new facility in Milwaukee. Our big first step is getting the Milwaukee facility open, getting it staffed and get it operational. And then, you know, that is really our major goal right now. So Court monitored reports show conditions at both youth prisons have been the best they've been since a monitor began reviewing them in 2018. Still, some Republicans on the committee fear the court ordered changes could make conditions less safe for workers. Well, get ready to elect a new justice to the Wisconsin Supreme Court. Justice Ann Walsh Bradley, the longest serving justice currently seated, will not run for another term. Walsh was first elected to the bench in 1995 and was reelected twice. In a statement, she said, it has been an honor of a lifetime to serve the people of the state and to know that when I'm sitting down at the bench, I am standing up for them. Wisconsin voters will head to the polls next April to vote for that new justice. Bradley is part of a current 4-3 liberal majority on the bench, meaning next year's election could possibly flip the court's majority. Former Republican Attorney General Brad Schimmel announced in November he would run for the seat. There's still several weeks before his first day on the job, but the Madison School District staff and students got a chance to meet their next superintendent today. Dr. Joe Gothard laid out his mission as he prepares to transition into the role beginning May 20th. He is currently with the St. Paul, Minnesota Public School District, but his career in education started in Madison. That familiarity, he says, with the Madison District will help him on the job. You will not address achievement gaps, opportunity gaps, unless you know your community and know what assets lie within your community. That's where it has to start. Well, Dr. Gothard will take over during a challenging time. He'll have to move quickly to address budget deficits with the school board likely to add tax referendums to the November ballot. Well, this week, the Environmental Protection Agency announced the first national regulation of PFAS in drinking water. These forever chemicals have made headlines in Wisconsin, too. Armand Rahman sat down with the DNR to find out what this means for the state. And Armand, what is the new limit for PFAS in drinking water? Well, Charlotte and Eric, for two of the most common forever chemicals, the new maximum contaminant levels 
are four parts per trillion. Wisconsin has its own limit of 70 parts per trillion, but Steve Elmore, who directs the DNR's Drinking Water Groundwater Program, tells me 95% of the state's public water systems are below four parts per trillion. 5% or 89 systems are above. Every year we're finding new information that shows that they're that they're more harmful and so um, these levels keep going lower. They, they can cause cancer, um, thyroid impacts and developmental delays um, for young children. And one of the sites with PFAS higher than the new limit is Well 15 near Dane County Regional Airport, which is turned off because of the firefighting foam used at Truex Field. Elmore says the DNR is taking steps to reduce contamination, but they're just getting started, so it will take time. We, we now know more about that and um, the harms of that release to the environment. Um, but when it was used years ago, um, we didn't know that that was a problem and we were just... Um, you know, it was a public safety action, right? Elmore says implementing the EPA's new standards could take up to three years because they need to change an administrative rule with public input and environmental impact studies. And the EPA is also making a billion dollars in funding available from the bipartisan infrastructure law to test and address contamination at public and private water systems. Armand, thank you. And more news is just ahead after the break. You can't miss this veteran's pearly Weiss because he smiles all the time. But we're after his pearls of wisdom and you'll hear those and a special Do Something Good story next. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Oh, Chunk Gaming Madison. Make entertaining and enjoying your home extraordinary with the luxurious look of Pella. At Pella, we see windows differently with the highest energy efficient products and range of options that add long lasting value to your home. From sleek design, custom colors, and long lasting durability, getting the style and functionality you want has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Visit PellaWI.com today. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Cause we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, you can get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota Camry. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. The Friends of the Middleton Performing Arts Center present the Texas Tenors live in concert. Don't miss an exciting evening with the award-winning trio who are celebrating their 15th anniversary tour. One night only, Saturday, April 13th. Tickets on sale now at friendspac.org. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Routier. National reputation, hometown service. Lisa and Walter reveals Quince's script secrets. Cheryl doesn't read the script before our table read. She was like, and then the, the, Quinta. And Quinta was like, yeah. And Chef Kwame's in the kitchen. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Moving forward.
Welcome back. It's not all too common to come across someone turning 100 years young. Dr. Louis Boyer Harnett of Madison will be celebrating that milestone this summer. But before he does, his family has arranged for him to do 99 things before his big day. We tagged along for one of those. Lou went back to his elementary school to visit with some third graders at Shorewood in this very special Do Something Good story. Everyone has a story. This should be fun. This is going to be a blast. <laughs> and if you have some time, Louis Boyer Harned has nearly a century worth of them. They called me by my middle name, which was Boyer. You've lived a life. Well, I have, yeah. Uh, and it's been exciting. Uh, if I had to do it, I'd do it all over again. And on this day, he's taking a look back on some of his very early memories. Here he is, so this is 1932, and he was uh, eight at the time. So this is probably second grade, I want to say maybe third grade. And I took French. <coughs> I don't remember any French at all. <laughs> Welcome to our class. Well, wow. According to this grade book, Lou got A's and B's, but... In my poorest grade was spelling. <laughs> I got a C, and, and I can't spell today. <laughs> but he can sure tell stories. How's everybody today? Okay? Good. A little chilly? What would you like to know? We didn't have computers. We didn't have iPhones. And we didn't have the, the new watches. <laughs> and we had a clutch. You know, we, had, we didn't have automatic driving at, at that time or anything like that. I was an orthopedic surgeon. We call ourselves carpenters because we fix, we fix broken bones. Do you get hurt in any of the wars you served in? Fortunately, I was very lucky. No, I didn't. What was your job? <clears throat> I was an ambulance driver. Having served in World War II, Korea, and Desert Storm, Lou has experienced so much, which is why when he dispenses his pearls of wisdom, you listen. Look at people and try to understand is integrity. Can you talk about the importance of having integrity? Well, you can trust that person, and that to me means so much. What advice would you give to someone like me about living life? Enjoy every minute. I mean, do everything that you would like to do. Doing the things that I've done now probably would never ever have done them unless Linda had decided we're going to do this hundred business. You are having fun, aren't you? I am. I, I really am. That's life. Uh, can't go around with a long face. Oh you my don't. Gosh. How do you want to be remembered? About 131 of us are dying every day of World War II veterans. 2030, there'll be no World War II veterans. And I don't want them to forget us. Uh, that's my biggest uh, wish and, and hope. It was because of what we did that we have the life that we have now. And uh, I'm proud of that. I'm glad I was part of it. Part of the greatest generation that is a shining example of what it means to do something good. So what's next for you? Oh, that's right. And how to make Bloody Marys and judging the best Bloody Marys. These are exciting things to do. <laughs> Lou, what a joy you are. And thank you for all of the good you have done and continue to do. If you want to follow along on Lou's Adventures to 100, find Lou99 on Facebook. He's currently on venture number 74. Well, Alex, I think that we need to get Lou with Grandma oh, Harrington together. Yeah. Oh, sure. That would be a pair. They could play that you. That would be a duo. Uh-huh. What a, what a wonderful piece you put together there, Charlotte. And yes, I was thinking of Grandma Harrington very fondly as I watched that. I got a little teary-eyed, too. I'll pivot to the weather here. That's what I'm here to do. Isolated storms, that chance is dwindling tonight. A breezy Friday, I can promise, and a warm weekend ahead, I can promise as well. Let's take a look at those showers out there and keep me on the screen here with you so you can see me too. Those showers are on the dwindling phase. I'm not expecting much more in the way of thunderstorm activity. Just a little bit stronger of a shower just south of the Dells right now. 
heading towards Baraboo on 12 and we swing down to the south towards Monroe on 11. Maybe another heavy shower in, over um, portions of Monroe right now, but these showers again are few and far between. Most places are staying dry and now our six hour future track radar really not showing anything eventful for the rest of the night tonight other than just perhaps a few isolated sprinkles and then we change things to the windy conditions as we go on into your Friday. Starting off with some clouds, temperatures right around 44 degrees. But those winds are definitely going to howl, howl as I was showing earlier in first weather. Even though temperatures are going to get into the upper 50s with sunny skies, you got 35 mile per hour winds and it puts just a little bit of bite in the air. And that's what it ha that's what happens in the spring. Spring is generally a pretty windy season overall. Speaking of seasonal change here, as we've been mentioning here on the first one weather team for days, giving you as much lead time on the potential for severe weather as possible. We were first to mention this just a couple of days ago, and now alert day conditions are looking quite likely as we head towards Tuesday. So likely, in fact, that our friends at the Storm Prediction Center have already outlined southern Wisconsin for a risk of severe weather. And for this to be five days away from now, if I did my math there correctly, that's pretty profound. You usually do not see an issuance of an uh, of an outlook this far in advance this early in the season. So the bottom line is severe weather possible Tuesday, all hazards, hail, damaging winds, tornadoes. The best chance would be Tuesday afternoon. There's one piece here as you see all of this green on Tuesday, according to our future track model. If we have widespread showers and thunderstorms on your Tuesday, that makes the forecasting complex. And I want to just put it right out there for the record. First to let you know if it's too cloudy and too rainy, that limits the heating and the lower amount of heat could limit the severe weather chance. So hopefully that actually is the case on your Tuesday. We don't need the severe weather. We'll take the rain though. Over the weekend, Saturday, 68 degrees. Sunday, 76. Get outside. In fact, I plan to go visit my grandma Harrington and sit out on the deck here as I continue to heal that that foot of mine. Monday night we could be looking at some thunderstorms building in. One or two of those could be severe, but then the big day is Tuesday and that could last into Wednesday. And then as we move out further into the 10 day forecast here, conditions should quiet down. But I do want to encourage folks to stay tuned to our live newscast, channel3000.com, our first warn weather app. We will keep everybody up to date on the latest for those potential alert day conditions and that unsettled weather early next week. And coming up in sports, lighting the lamp on the big stage. How many Badger goals helped the U.S. skate past Japan at the Women's World Championships? Find out next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Get an 11% rebate on everything to grow the perfect lawn now at Menards. Make your lawn stand out with our wide selection of grass seed. Schultz Quick Lawn Grass Seed is an easy fix for bare spots or thinning areas. A three-pound bag is only $6.99 after rebate. Need more coverage? Schultz Sun and Shade Grass Mix covers up to 13,000 square feet. These 20-pound bags are $49.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. It's a great time to have RG Heating and Air Conditioning check your home's furnace system for safety and efficiency. RG services all brands and installs quality train equipment to keep your home running smooth year-round. Call RG Heating and AC today. 
clean, safe, fun. I wanted it all when we needed daytime care for mom. But Grace's new adult day center is so nice. Now she goes twice a week while I'm at work and loves it. A Grace, caring every step of the way. I worked as a truck driver for 36 years. And then one day I got this letter. Your retirement will be cut. Will be cut in half. You don't forget something like that. Every paycheck, we put money away. But because of Wall Street greed, boom, it was gone. But Tammy Baldwin saw what they were doing and wrote a bill to save our retirement. Then she fought like hell to pass it. What Tammy Baldwin did for our families, you don't forget something like that. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are gonna function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Hip, knee, or back pain? See if arch supports can help you at the Good Feet store. Three seasons on basically every injury report. Four different surgeries and 1,060 days between games. That's been the reality during the last three years for Aaron Witt. Before the battle for the Axe last November, the last snap he played was in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. Now the outside linebacker is finally 100% healthy, and during spring practice, he's a full go. And Witt is excited to see his snap count go way up this fall. Completely different player now than I was back then. Just, um, and I think I'm a better player now. Uh, there's some things that you know I still got to work through, and in the fall, I'll I'll be able to show that. I'm excited to show that. So being able to be out there together is special. You Knowing everything he's been through, the surgeries, the thinking he's about to be back, they're getting backtracked again. Just being able to see all that and see where he's at now and how still good he is. Like it's, I, I, I'm so happy for him, and I'm excited to be a part of his journey and be out there with him on Saturdays. The Bucks won their second straight game last night. Big thanks in part to the play of Bobby Portis. Otherwise known as Bobby Buckets, he filled the stat sheet against the Magic. 30 points, 9 rebounds, 5 steals, and 3 assists. Portis did a little bit of everything, something he's been doing all year for Milwaukee, which is why his teammates believe he's locked up the NBA's Sixth Man of the Year award. He's done all season, not always five steals, but he's been just disruptive on the ball and blitzes and shows. Um, just played at, at that level all season long. You know, I think it's a pretty easy call who the sixth man of the year is. Coming here was perfect, man. Just being able to play with swag and energy. Guys, let me be me. And everything been working out so far, man. Um, only thing I need is a couple votes. To Augusta we go, first round of the Masters. Tiger Woods could have asked for a better start. First hole of the day for him and the five-time Green Jacket winner rolls in the birdie. He's one under through 13 and will finish his first round tomorrow because play was suspended due to darkness. Well, Bryson DeChambeau was able to play 18 and he finished with eight chirpers. DeChambeau is your leader at seven under. And on the ice, the Badgers were rolling at the Women's World Championships. Team USA taking on Japan in the quarterfinals. And Lacey Eden sends the spinning backhander through the five hole for her first goal of the tournament. But U.S. up 1-0. It's 3-0 now in the second. And Kirsten Sims sneaks one under the net monitor to light the lamp. Four different Badgers scored in the 10-0 win. We're back after this. Ashley's spring semi-annual sale is on now. Upgrade your sleep with a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Get $300 in free furniture plus free delivery and 60-month special financing only at Ashley. You've probably heard by now, but Wanakee Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanakee Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakeeRemodeling.com for more. Get a great deal and do a great deal of good when you shop at Habitat Restore. 
From furniture and decor to appliances and building materials, we've got everything you need for your next project. Shop our convenient East and West locations today. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of built for tough. See your Ford dealer today and celebrate leadership with special offers on Ford F-Series. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. It's better over here. It's our lowest prices of the season at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, shop unbeatable deals on the things you need for spring. Like 36-pound bags of estate starter with lawn fertilizer, just $29.99. 40-pound bags of Estate Sun to Shade Lawn Seed Mix, $109.99. Rewards members save an extra 10 bucks. And stock up on 50-pound bags of Diamond Crystal Solar Natural Salt Crystals, just $5.99. Don't miss our lowest prices of the season in-store or online at farmandfleet.com. Get the lowest prices now during the spring semi-annual sale at Ashley. We're cleaning house and everything is on sale. And save even more on closeouts. Plus, special financing for 60 months with nothing down. Only at Ashley. Chris Stanford, News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Alex is back, keeping a close eye on the weather. Sure have. We've been looking at this for the past couple days. For mm -hmm. next week, we've got our system right now, though. First, those showers are out of here. Then they're going to be replaced with windy conditions. Don't let that 58 fool you for tomorrow. I mean, it's mild for April, or April, but that wind of 35 miles per hour, that's going to put a little bit of a bite in there. At least we got the sun. I'll impart mm -hmm. some optimism there. Then the alert day conditions that we have been discussing for days likely will materialize on your Tuesday. This would be for all of southern Wisconsin. High winds hail and the possibility of tornadoes. We'll be keeping an eye on this over the next couple of days and keeping everybody uh, on the very, very latest and letting folks know first any changes with that forecast. All right, so keep an eye on Alex. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Produce 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.